What's going on guys? Waco here on Rue de Rhone in Geneva, the ball pan boutique and it's raining outside and maybe it's the perfect time to test a water resistant watch. And what an amazing water resistant watch I have on my wrist. It is the ball pan 50 fathoms, act three of the 70th anniversary of this iconic watch, which was born in 1953. And this watch is insanely cool. For fans of military watches, yes, it is a mil-spec configuration, but this time in bronze. It's not just bronze, but it's bronze gold, which is 37.5% gold. So the US Navy adopted the 50 fathoms for their use. And at some point, they wanted to reduce the magnetic signature of their watch, because there were like mines, for example, that could be triggered if they detected magnetism. So they changed the case material from steel to German silver, right? And those German silver cases, as you guys know very well, for those of you who love German silver, it patinas over time and starts to adopt kind of a rosy hue. And so the genius of uh, that's known as Mark Hyatt decided, you know what? I want to create a tribute to those watches, but I'm going to do it in bronze. So there you go. That is a bronze edition of the 70th anniversary Act 3. I'm going to call it the mill spec. But the details of this watch are insanely cool. So check out the dial. It's a matte dial with the original ball pan logo from 1953, with the original font of the 50 Fathoms from 1953 as well. And it's got these beautiful radial minute markers as well. And then check out the patina. That patina is meant to sort of replicate vintage age radium, as you would see today. But of course, it's a super high performance watch uh, using contemporary superluminova. The movement inside of here is the 1150, so 100 hours of power reserve, silicone balance springs, so of course it cannot be magnetized, and it is magnetic resistant to 1000 gauss, which is basically more than you will ever need in any sort of moment in your life. But the watch on the wrist is absolutely stunning to behold. The vintage styling is amazing, but it's combined with all the sort of best modern elements too. So it's 41.3 mm in terms of diameter. It's got a bronze bezel as well, and it's got a ceramic insert and the combination of that black ceramic, which is glossy, and that matte bronze is absolutely stunning to behold. Check out the dial also, it's got a moisture indicator. This moisture indicator is really interesting because it's like specified in white and gray, and I think it complements the look, the warm hue of the bronze perfectly. It comes on this beautiful NATO strap, which has also got a, a bronze colored stripe right through the center of its black base. And the watch is made in 555 pieces to commemorate 1955, which was the adoption of the Blanc Pat 50 Fathoms by the US Navy. It is 30,000 Swiss francs, which considering how cool it looks, I think is actually a pretty decent uh, you know, a value proposition. So we have Act One here, which was launched earlier this year, three times 70 pieces. We have the three hour deep diving watch, right? The Blanc Pat 50 Fathoms Tech, uh, which is unlimited and brings an all new technical dimension. But this is insanely cool. Cheers.